Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about how to implement fragment in Android Studio. So let us see. What are the fragments? We can think fragment has a modular section of an activity which has its own life cycle. It is just like a sub activity. Then why do we need fragments? Before the introduction of fragments, we can only show a single activity on the screen at one point of time. So we are not able to divide the screen and control different parts separately. But now it is possible using the concept of fragment. By using the fragments, we can combine multiple screens in a single activity. Then real life examples on fragments. Now everyone is using WhatsApp. So we can take it as an example to understand fragment better. We can see various tabs on WhatsApp. Let's say calls, chats, contacts. On swapping, each one of them give us another tab open in that particular area. What will be our task? We have to create a single activity which will contain two fragments. On pressing respective buttons, that particular fragment will be appeared on the screen. Let's move to the coding part. First, we will create a new project. Select empty activity. We will name it as fragment. Then click on finish. It will take some time. Our task is to create a single activity which will contain frame layout and two buttons. Here we have a default main activity. Now we will create a frame layout in this activity. We will set width as match parent and height as 600 dp. Then we will set id as frame layout. Now we will add one button width as 150 dp and height as 60 dp. We will set id of the button as fragment1 button. Then we will include text as fragment1. Then we will add some additional attributes such as background, tint, etc. We will do same for the button 2. Such as copy. Then change the id as fragment to button. Text as fragment 2. And include one additional attribute. Align parent right. Okay, now we will create two fragments, fragment, blank fragment, we will name it as fragment1, click on finish, similarly create another fragment, fragment blank, Fragment 2 Go to the XML file of the fragment 1 We will use this text view Change this text as fragment 1 So that it will be displayed on the screen Then text size as 30 dp Text color as black. Then add some additional attributes. Change the background. I will take it as purple. Now we will do same for the fragment 2. So just copy text view and paste in the XML section of the fragment 2. Change the text as fragment 2 and 
include background text somewhat different color we have done with the front end part of the fragment now we will do back end at this point we don't require this code so we will delete create a view this will also work but i will do it in different way so simply return view similarly do for the second fragment go to main activity now create button references first fragment button is equal to find view by id r dot id dot fragment one button second fragment button is equal to find view by id r dot id dot fragment two button now we will set on click listener do same for the second fragment button dot set on click listener new on click listener now we will create a new method if left and we will pass the object of the fragment one as an argument do same for the fragment two now we will create this method change this to fragment fragment for managing the fragments we are using fragment manager so first we will create an object of this fragment manager get support fragment manager then i have started the fragment transaction using the begin transaction method then what we have done is we have replaced the, the this frame layout by this fragment which is passed as an argument in this method we have committed the fragment transaction now we have done with the coding part now i run this app in emulator i used a here pixel to api 25 then tap to the run it takes some time as we can see here it is installed on emulator so when i click on fragment 1 button fragment 1 screen appears and same with a fragment 2 hope you have understood the concept of fragment thank you